What? What's happening? What's going on? Roger, mate, what are you doing? I can't hear you, dude. You look as frustrated as I feel right now. It's hard to make out from here, but is that some kind of Tim Tebow you're struggling through there? Holy shit, is that a Nazi salute? Yeah, you've got you've got some quite politically charged satire in your back catalogue, Mr. Waters. This is not a good time to start pissing on fires. All right, this is pointless. The crowd has defeated you with its mindless enthusiasm, sir. This is why you spat on them that one time, remember? But fret not, I'm going to put you through the poo coder. Then we can start making sense of what you're trying to say. I didn't know they were your colleagues, and I'm rather surprised you care. Why, what about it? I call them Now, why the hell would they go ahead and do that? I call them You won't get anywhere trying to appeal to these people's sense of family values, sir. Trust me, it's not their bag. If you really want widespread media coverage, stick to the race baiting and the man bashing. Bro, do you even grift? Mother used to say to me. See, I don't know much about your mother, Mr. Waters. No more than any bugger would know from listening to the wall a thousand times. But I can tell that even for a bit of a battle axe, that's one of her more stubbornly broken principles. In any situation, there is nearly always a right thing to do. Just do it. That's that's some Weasley fluff followed by a, by a direct order, isn't it? nearly always is not good enough to warrant just do it. It's a senseless and possibly abusive thing to say to a dependent. Don't get me wrong, you've done remarkably well for a single mother child, but alas, your company has not improved much since the glory days of the boomers. Never mind, Roger, at least you're trying. So there you go, my brothers! You are the choice. I'm not saying Big words! Mr. <laughs> Waters, very big words indeed. When you say all the huffers and puffers, I presume that's a term that's variably uh, applicable, depending on who's doing the huffing, huffing and puffing at the time. It is taking a knee, not itself, a form of huffing and puffing. It's not the 80s anymore, all right? That is not Ronald Reagan, and that is not an underground grassroots band of bleeding hearts and artists. They are the author authoritarians in charge now. But again, at least I have to give you points for effort. You're old, you know? You don't have the eyes to see through this bullshit anymore. You don't quite have the cash flow you'd like. Good on you for working hard and doing whatever you need to make money, but, uh, Mr. Waters, I never thought I'd find myself saying this, but the time has finally come. I'm glad Dave got it. There, I said it. I would rather have banal and naive emotional meandering than ass about face political pandering. But that's just my bad. Good luck to you. And good luck with Israel. I'm not even getting into that shit. I call you. Because it's the right thing to do. Because somewhere inside. No. How the hell do I do all this, eh? Spurg powers, sir. Simple spurg powers. Jesus need excitement. I know a thousand times more than you. 
about the things you've said. And there are thousands just like me. You might not want to fuck with us. Ahoy hoy, y'all. I'm already tired. Why is this world here? Goodbye, and be careful who you like. Bracket hangs, self, close bracket. <laughs>